Hello and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be overclocking the Ryzen 5 5600X all six cores to 4.65 gigahertz. We'll be covering four different overclocking strategies. First, we'll simply enable precision boost overdrive and XMP. Second, we'll push the CPU to its maximum prime 95 with AVX enabled stable settings. Third, we will push our CPU even further to its all-core maximum stable frequency. Lastly, we'll try to big brain PBO, but first let's have a look at the hardware that we use in this guide, the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X processor, Gigabyte B550 Aorus Pro AX motherboard, NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti, G-Skill Trident Z DDR4 4266 memory sticks, Seasonic Prime 850 watt platinum power supply, the Elmo Labs P8 DB2 LPC debug card, EK Quantum water cooling, favorite open bench table. Let's have a look at the AMD technologies and the constraints we will face. A Ryzen 5000 CPU consists of a couple of parts. Each CPU has multiple chiplets. A chiplet is a die with specific functions such as CPU cores, IO hub, memory controller, and so on. All the chiplets communicate with each other via the fabric interconnect. A core chiplet die or CCD is one of the chips on the AMD CPU. A CCD consists of a single CCX. CCX is short for core complex. The core complex consists of eight individual cores, each with their L1 and L2 cache. They also share a large 32 megabyte L3 cache. The Ryzen 5 5600X has one CCD with one CCX. That one CCX has six out of the eight cores enabled. By default, the Infinity Fabric memory controller and memory frequency will operate in synchronous mode. Synchronous mode is supposed to work all the way up to 2000 megahertz, after which the system switches to asynchronous mode. So you will have a performance penalty. Let's jump into the benchmarks and the overclocking. Before we get started, let's first take a look at the scoring at stock settings. We reran the benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to default operation. By default, this motherboard has precision boost overdrive enabled. I quickly disabled the turbo in the BIOS and checked the performance difference. Precision boost overdrive is quite the treat when it comes to out of the box performance. Anyway, let's jump into the manual overclocking. In addition to overclocking the CPU to 4.4 gigahertz, we also enable XMP, a synchronous mode. Also, this is the highest setting that is stable for Prime 95 with AVX. We reran the benchmarks and checked the performance increase compared to default operation. Running Prime 95 small F50 with AVX enabled at 4.4 gigahertz, we're seeing a peak CPU temperature of 93 degrees centigrade and a peak CPU package power of 102 watts. We can further push the CPU to 4.65 gigahertz while having XMP enabled upon entering the BIOS change to the advanced mode view. Set CPU clock ratio to 46.5. Set extreme memory profile to profile 1. Set CPU vCore to 1.376 volts. Then save and exit the BIOS. We reran the benchmarks and checked the performance increase compared to stock operation. All our benchmarks are now above our stock performance. I thought this was pretty much the end of the journey to find and extract more performance from the CPU, but then I had an idea. What if we can big brain precision boost overdrive? See, this is why you need to know about precision boost overdrive. AMD has shared some information on how this technology works. We don't really know exactly what happened. Here's what we do know. The precision boost overdrive algorithm takes into account information from various sources. Based on all of these inputs, the algorithm determines the available voltage headroom and frequency to maximize system performance. The key takeaway from all this is that the CPU frequency will be limited by its pre-programmed Fmax, regardless of how amazing your cooling is. So what is the big brain play I hear you asking? Well, a light, sort of. Fmax offset is an option that allows you to raise the Fmax ceiling in the case of the 5600X from 4.65 GHz to 4.85 GHz. Upon entering the BIOS, change the advanced mode view, set extreme memory profile to profile 1, then navigate to the settings menu. Enter the AMD overclocking submenu. Press accept. Enter the precision boost overdrive submenu. Change the precision boost overdrive option to advanced. Then change the max CPU boost clock override to 200 megahertz, then save 
and exit the BIOS. We reran the benchmarks and checked the performance increase compared to default operation. By simply lifting the ceiling of the FMAC, we were able to increase the performance of light workloads by quite a bit. All right, let's wrap this video up. When it comes to manual overclocking, you know, if you're going to be tuning for an absolute worst case scenario like Prime 95 with AVX, you're going to be losing out on a lot of single threaded performance. My recommendation for the 5600X, stick with Precision Boost Overdrive, enable XMP, for a little bit better performance. If you have a great cooling solution, if max offset, if you have a great cooling solution and your CPU can do over 4.65 gigahertz with all cores, just go for that option. All right, that's it for this video and until the next time.